Hello YouTubers, Reloading Bench back with you once again. And I was hoping that this was a video I would never have to make, but uh, in the uh, in the progression of my machining journey, uh, maybe this was inevitable, and uh, we'll have to see see where this uh, where this goes. So I've talked before about uh, Viver support, Viver Viver. And I have to say that, uh, you know, it's, I, I've not had issues with the support, um, but I have found that there are two levels of support for this machine. And if you buy directly from Viver, uh, Viver Direct, like uh, Viver.com, Viver, um, that's one channel. The second channel of purchase and warranty support differentiators through Viver Directs, uh, uh, say eBay store or Amazon. So I purchased this through Viver Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and you look for a Viver lathe, this particular lathe, you'll see that it's it's the Viver store and whatnot. And um, anytime that I've gone to the Viver website and initiated the chat, and they ask for your order number. I give them my Amazon number. And then they tell me, oh, you got this through Amazon. We're sending this to our Amazon specialist. And then the Amazon specialist, who's always the same person, gets back to me within about 24 hours, obviously overseas. And uh, they've been uh, reasonably good with uh, their information. A couple of things, like on the lock, I had to call them out on because they, they kept pointing to the carriage, uh, engaging the uh, threading uh, auto thread lead and you know minor stuff, but in general they answered the questions and uh, and got back to me really really quickly. Again, within a 24-hour uh, span of time, which was fine. Well, uh, starting the new year off with a bang, literally uh, and figuratively. So uh, I haven't published the video on this, but uh, I was turning this down and making good progress when all of a sudden uh, the chuck stopped. And I've had that happen before, especially in parting, where the parting tool will get under whatever I'm parting and it'll, you know, uh, I don't know if the right term is jam, but stops the chuck. Then you back everything out, um, you come back in and you turn everything back on and all is good. Well, apparently uh, at turning this, and as I started to turn uh, the edge, it just the the chuck stopped so i did the same thing i backed this out and uh, uh backed it off backed it away reset everything in terms of my controls and then turned it back on and what i was getting at that time was a clicking sound kind of like uh you know when your alternator is not working on your car you get the so i had no movement of the chuck uh, so as you can see right now, I'm at zero RPM. Normally when you turn this particular model on, uh, it'll start at 126 and then go up to 150 RPM. So right now I have zero and I'm on forward. And if I move the speed adjustment, I get nothing. No clicking, no movement, no, no anything. Now I can do that on, I'll wait till it turns off. I can do that on forward and reverse. And again, no, no movement, no clicking. Again, had clicking sound like uh, something was stuck. No movement of the chuck, no turning of the chuck. And when I would turn it manually, when this first happened, uh, it wasn't turning as easy, like right now, like there's a, there's resistance. So it wasn't turning as freely as it normally would. Uh, I looked at all the gears. There's nothing, no, no teeth are broken, no teeth are chipped. So there's nothing, see like right now there's, there's some, there's resistance there. So, uh, like right here, I, I can't, can't turn it. I can probably force it. But again, it's, it's not smooth uh, and there's definitely some resistance. So uh, I, 
I took two paths to uh, trying to uh, address, okay, what now? Obviously, uh, a warranty issue. So if you look at the, the website, Viber talks about 30-day hassle-free return. Well, you know, I don't want to return this. I, I want to keep using it. Uh, and then a 12-month warranty. So I did two things. One, I sent an email to the Amazon support specialist who had been answering questions previously. And uh, they then uh, sent back, uh, again, very quickly, uh, a response saying, please send us a video of what's going on with, uh, with the lathe. So I sent them, I made a video, kind of like what I'm doing here, uh, only it wasn't geared towards YouTube, it was just geared towards, uh, you know, here's what's not working on the lathe. And uh, they got back to me uh, the next day, which is today, and uh, they gave me a, a, a site called uh, WeTransfer or something along those lines that they said uh, either attach the video to this email response or send us the link uh, via this WeTransfer uh, website. So I went out to this WeTransfer website and I'm thinking, ah, I don't want to join another website. So uh, I did a Google Docs upload and I sent them the, uh, the video. Well, they got back to me and said, we didn't get your link, which I thought was kind of funny because it's embedded in the, uh, in the actual email. So I then uh, copied the link address from the Google Docs. And then I also went out to WeTransfer and did create an account and did upload the video. So I sent them two links, one from Google Docs and one from the WeTransfer. Uh, and then I also said, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to document this entire process uh, on YouTube because better or worse. You know, I'm hoping things work out, but if not, uh, we'll find out what uh, a 12-month warranty uh, actually really means uh, when something breaks on uh, your Viva lathe. Uh, at the same time, I uh, also initiated through Viva's website. And if you look at their website, again, kind of funny, because this is their website, and I've highlighted in red where it says, Welcome to Viva's self-service page for processing warranty requests and making inquiries. All Viva warranties are automatically kept track in our system. This page is for purchases made through this website or the Viva Direct Store sites such as Amazon and eBay. So since I purchase through Amazon Viva Direct, I would think that this warranty should apply. So the Viva folks, when I uh, made an inquiry on warranty, uh, Yusuf got back to me and said, Thank you for your reply. Kindly note, our warranty only suits our official orders. I thought that was kind of interesting because that's not what this says. This page is for purchases made through the website of Viva Direct Sales, such as Amazon. So, uh, kind of a mixed message, a little concerning. Uh, we have informed our Amazon team to contact you and solve your problems. Please wait patiently. So, um, you know, dealing directly with Viver, Weber, is not useless, but uh, they punch you over to the Amazon support team, um, which I still think is part of Viver, but, you know, who knows, as opposed to purchasing this, purchasing this direct from them uh, via this website. So uh, it looks like there's two channels for support. Anytime I've contacted them directly, and as soon as I say, you know, I purchase this on Amazon, they send me to the Amazon team. So uh, I told Yusuf and company, I said, you know what? This will be a great opportunity to showcase uh, Beaver support, uh, you know, good, bad, or anything in between. Uh, again, I, I would say that my Amazon Beaver support has been uh, uh, prompt and reasonably adequate. Uh, but now I've got... Uh, I've got a broken lathe uh, that uh, doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to perform. So uh, this will take my machining journey into uh, the next uh, the next turn, the next path, uh, and that is uh, warranty work. So we will see 
uh, in the next period of time based on uh, my video that I sent to uh, uh, the folks at Beaver in terms of what is and what is not happening uh, with the motor, with the electronics uh, and such. I popped the back of the case off where the where the uh, logic board is and you know I don't see anything you know blatantly uh, obvious like a you know a, a burn or something that fried the fuse is fine because I'm getting power but uh, yeah I was uh, using this particular tool um, just like this and I was uh, uh, engaging uh, the lead screw uh, and it was doing a fine job I mean uh, I think this looks absolutely stunning. You know, if this is the original and I'm turning this down, this looks beautiful. And it was doing a great job uh, until it stopped doing a great job. So now uh, we'll see what happens with, uh, uh, with the Viva Lathe warranty team because uh, I'm, I'm truly liking the lathe. I've been, uh, again, satisfied with the support so far, but now I've reached a problem that is beyond my, uh, my ability to solve uh, and or fix uh, to get the lathe working again. So uh, this will probably be a series of uh, lathe repair, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, definitely more to come. Take care.